All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome back to the tutorial. Today, we will be attempting to model this couch right here for our cruise cabin. So that's the goal. So I just kind of got it up on my uh, second monitor here, and we're just going to sort of uh, jump right in, try and keep this as short as possible. Um, so let's um, let's get this box here, convert it to an editable poly. Well, it already is. Just grab the top, and we're just going to drag this up to about the height it needs to be. So right about there, and maybe a bit higher. Actually, I think this thing needs to go down, but this is about the height of our couch. And as for the width, let's go to the camera here, grab this, and we will bring it out to about here. Seems about a good width. Okay, this is just the box, basically, of the uh, couch. That seems about right. All right, now let's isolate this selection. Okay, so here we are. Um, actually, end isolation mode. Make sure we didn't move the camera. We're good. Okay. So isolate selection. You can get rid of the safe frame by pressing Shift F. And now we're into our traditional three view mode here. So the first thing, let's. Uh, Let's sort of block out the shape of the couch. So we're start off, it's going to have a back. Uh, you can turn off auto grid for now. So we'll have a back. It's going to be about ooh, probably this thick. OK, convert that to another little poly. All right, good deal. And then, let's see, we know it's going to have some arms. So let's just shift drag that over, press 1. And let's give it the arms. So they're going to be about yay thick. OK, and we'll copy that over here. All right, now let's grab this. Um, shift drag it over here. It's also going to have um, a little seating area, of course. And we can get rid of the main box now. Oops, well, that's actually fine. Uh, that should have happened even though I didn't quite want it to. All right, I had this selection isolated and I deleted the selection, so that's what happens. All right, and this will be, let's see, select it, one. This should go a little bit farther out. Well, actually, no, it should be about here. These arm pieces, though, should be back a little bit right to about here I'd say all right and we can just effect pivot centered object shift drag it okay and then that's gonna be basically our couch and actually let's grab this um, select here and these are gonna come off the floor a bit probably about a third of the way Okay, and then we can grab this, bring it up, and bring the arms up as well. All right, now we're only up to model half this couch. Um, so there we go. Now let's um, we'll just group this real quick. Okay, it doesn't matter what you call it. And end isolation mode, and go into our camera view. Let's just make sure that fits with the scene. I actually think it's not bad. It's right height there, right height here, right height here. Everything works with the exception of the arms. Uh, should be sort of a little farther out. So let's group, ungroup. Grab this. And technically, I think this piece is just too big right here. This, this piece. Yeah, okay. So the, the trouble we're having here uh, and why it's not lining up is this is just simply too big. So let's just shrink it down a bit. Okay. Go in the top viewport here. And let's just bring it back over here a little bit. Okay. Now 
let's go into our camera view. That's not bad. Because it should line up. Sort of, uh, I think it's still supposed to be a bit smaller. I don't know how small I can make it. And don't worry about the intersecting lines here, it's not really going to affect much. Okay. And maybe, just maybe, it is sort of wider. Kind of like that. And again, this is half the fun with 3D. You can sort of just make your shapes match. Okay, it's not bad. I think we can work with that. So let's um, grab that and you can watch how you don't move that. Uh, let's just delete this. <clears throat> grab this one and shift drag it over. Just so it fits. All right, perfect. All right, so now in our camera view, we have something that now matches to where about where it should be. Okay, and our perspective isn't quite right because you should be able to see a line right here. Uh, but we'll we'll deal with that in a little bit. So back to the couch. So let's isolate selection perspective Z. Got our three viewports here, and let's begin. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> let's just uh, make a copy of this piece. And we're going to click connect and delete half of it, okay? Basically we made a box, except it's exactly half the size we need it to be. Alright, so now we've got this little piece right here. Okay, uh, now what we need to do is <clears throat> grab this and actually let's just drag it down to here and in the top view click connect and just drag it to about the width of the arm maybe a little less I think it's a bit much what we put in there okay connect it this way and just drag it out to here Okay, now grab these polys and delete. All right, now we can bring that up. And let's go to the polygon here and we can create. We'll just fill in uh, this gap. All right, and go to border and cap that. Perfect. Uh, next, what we need to do is basically. Um, Let's add some geometry. Hmm. Let's click this, connect two connections. We'll pinch them quite a bit. What we're basically doing is making a seam here. Okay, control click, deselect the top and deselect the bottom. And let's just extrude this on the local normal ever so slightly. All right, oops, there we go. So now we basically have a line. Now if we go turbo smooth, it won't look good, but I'm just trying to check this line here. So you see a nice little seam there, okay? Uh, next what we wanna do is grab the, let's see, top, okay? Extrude this just a little bit, okay? Uh, grow the selection and deselect the top, so we have this. Extrude these in the local normal by the same amount. So now we'll basically have two seams. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, extrude it by a little bit. And grow, deselect, extrude, and we're good. So now we have three seams. Okay, looking good. Um, next, what we want to do <clears throat> is 
round off some corners here. So click and control click, chamfer, and we're just going to chamfer this corner uh, just a little bit, kind of like that. All right, and let's chamfer this one. So we're just clicking and control double control click. All right, let's uh, chamfer this one, give it a little curve. Do the same here. All right, uh, we can do it on the back. You won't really see it, but and we should probably do it here too. And it doesn't hurt, I guess, to go. Well, this one should have a smaller chamfer. All right, and let me save right there. So we check our thing here. You see now we have sort of a cushion. So let's go back in here. Uh, click there, and let's grow a couple times. So we get all of those, and we're just going to scale these in just a bit. Oops. Let's get the vertices, I guess. And maybe grow once more. There we go. And let's just uh, click the polygons. And just scale it in ever so slightly. Okay. And do the same here on the bottom. So we're going to grow three times. And let's just shrink it in just a bit. Okay. This is going to do is just give us the illusion, basically, that you know we have um, you know some additional geometry here. Um, now, let's simply click here. And we're going to connect it once. Okay. And let's go into our top view here. We're just gonna. Sort of put it halfway there so we get a little bulge. And let's do the same thing in this view. So I just need a little bulge in there just to help the turbo smooth out just a little bit. All right, very nice. And now what we want to do <coughs> is sort of round off the top, I think, if we can. So let's grab this, we can connect that, grab this, connect, and let's grab this point and this point, we'll just bring them up a little bit, okay? So now that should give us a bit of a bulge when we turbo smooth, okay? And that looks pretty good. Now what we can do is add a noise. All right, we're going to want to do this in the Z direction. Not too much noise. And I'm just sort of bring the scale a little bit there. Maybe not quite that much. Just to give it some sort of creasing. And maybe a little bit in the Y and a bit in the X. Just to give it some sort of waves, and maybe a little less in the Z. Okay, perfect. So now let's delete this. Um, actually, we'll just move this into position here. And delete that. And then let's go into the top viewport here. And just do a symmetry on the X butt it up next to each other and there we go now we have some little uh, couch cushion things all right excellent and actually i think i want to what do i want to do actually let's shift click just grow that control click the polygons Select these and maybe move these polygons down a bit. Mm, no, that didn't really do what I wanted. Uh, let's try.
grabbing these, pressing R and sort of scaling in a little bit. Maybe moving some of these. Oops. Uh, what did that do for us? Not all that much. All right, I'll just put it back. Okay. Um, let's make sure the fronts are pretty close to being matched. And actually, it looks like we've got a bit too much of a gap here. Let's put our vertices in the front. And we'll just close these in a bit. Just the gap, I guess, can't be that big. All right, we'll delete that one. And we will copy back over, mirror it, and this should work like a charm. All right, nice. All right, and then we can click here and just change the seat a bit, just so it's a bit different. And maybe even give it a fourth turbo smooth iteration. Move the noise. And maybe increase it a bit. All right, let's try to do something similar here. So 5, 14, and 3. Let's do 5, 14, and 3. There we go. We can always adjust the settings anyway. Um, but maybe 14 is a bit too much. Maybe we'll try 8 here in the Y. Okay. So that should work for those. Um, now I basically just do the same thing. Um, for the other bits, so let's uh, use this box, I guess, as an easy way to start. Convert it to an editable poly. Uh, click here and connect. Drag this back to kind of make the back. All right, click here. We're going to extrude, just sort of extrude a little bit. And let's, what did we do here? I think we isolated it. Yes, we did. Okay, so isolate selection again. So we have this. Uh, we'll grab your polygon here. We'll just sort of drag it to about in the center. Okay. And now let's delete uh, this piece and this piece. <clears throat> and what we want to do is, let's see. Hmm. We really should uh, make this, oops, make this an instance. All right, mirror it, and then let's stick it together. That way, just if we make any changes, uh, it'll flow all the way through. All right, so let's go to vertex mode here and just shrink it up a bit. Just show it so it fits in here. All right, uh, next let's do some simple adjustments to the sort of scale. Um, let's just see, how do we want to go about doing this? So it seems like we're going to add connect. We're going to do a couple connections here. About six should do. We're coming to the front viewport, we basically need to make a curve to the top. So we're going to sort of bring that in. Kind of go here, 
Okay, so we get this kind of like subtle curve effect. And on this side, we're going to sort of go in just a bit. And kind of curve back out. Okay. Alright, so you see we have a nice curve. And then let's select the top here. And we'll give that one connection. So not six, but one. Actually, two is probably good. And let's just drag these up to kind of form a, a little peak, I guess. And then what we want to do is select the back here, connect that with two as well. And let's drag these up to get the same peak. So you see basically what we've got oops, is kind of two peaks going on. And then these need to come back down. Well, actually, no, they can stay there. That's fine. This needs to come up to meet the rest of the peaks. And actually, no, the, these need to come down. Okay, and then let's see, it's a straight across. Maybe it's sort of come up halfway. We'll see, I'm actually not really sure how that works, but we can uh, adjust it as we go. I do think, though, that it's too thick. So let's go here, press R, and we'll just shrink it a bit. Okay, and drag it back. There we go. Right, very good. Uh, next, let's, so we have the curve there, that will work, and let's actually curve this. So these points right here have a nice curve to them. And what we also want to do is curve them uh, this way as well, I believe. Okay. There we go. This will get a curve in a couple different directions. All right, let's quickly turbo smooth this just to see what we get. All right, as expected, but is closer. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, grab all these front polygons here, extrude out just a little bit. Okay, grow, uh, deselect the front face and extrude on the local model. Okay, so that should pretty much deal with the front. Excellent. Uh, next, we're going to want to do a oops, control double click this chamfer, and we're going to sort of give this a smaller size chamfer just to get a curve in there with a bit of a crease, maybe even uh, smaller than that. Yeah, that looks. There we go. Looks a little better. Okay, and then we will. Let's see. What else needs a chamfer here? So the outer edge looks like it might need one. So click, control click. All right. This will just go all the way around. And we will chamfer that. Okay, select the polygons and deselect everything sort of on the outside. And we can deselect these bits. 
and extrude in the local model. Okay, now let's press 2 on the keyboard. We'll just bring this back and delete the polygon on this side. Delete it on this side. Oops. And let's do a target weld here. And just weld these two together. Perfect. So now you see we have a basically seamless transition with the exception of whatever's going on over here. I think we missed some vertices. Let's see. I'm guessing these ones aren't welded. Hmm. Odd. I'm not fully sure why it's doing what it's doing. But we can fix it by adding a connect. One connect. And sliding it over here should solve the problem. And then let's do a edge and select over here. Oops. Shift double click. No. There we go. Connect. And that should be good. And turbo smooth it, and there we go. Okay, so this definitely uh, needs to do something. I think the back needs to come up. So this needs to be level with the uppermost portion here. Like all of these need to be sort of level. There we go, much better. All right, now go to edit a little poly, and let's actually just delete. Um, yeah, delete these. Okay, that way our turbo smooth will sort of stop. And let's see here. So that's not bad so far. Seems a bit high. We may end up sort of raising these elements just a bit. Okay, uh, now we can apply a symmetry modifier and go to your mirror here and we'll just flip that. It should just sort of weld itself on. Perfect, just like that. You see now we have a perfect uh, couch here. Now go back to your vertex here, and let's um, grab these top three. We're just going to drag these down a bit. Right to about there, sort of get a slight V shape. Select all this, connect, actually connect in the center. Grab the top here, and we're just going to bring this up a bit. Okay, and now it looks like there is a little hole thing. So we're going to select this right here. We're going to chamfer it. Okay, that'll give you sort of a little, a little hole thing. Okay, now we're going to, um, let's see, press W and just drag it in a bit. And then we want to select, let's get this, and we're just going to bevel it inward just a tad. And let's see what that gives us. Okay, so now you see we kind of have that little uh, hole in our mesh, which is what we're looking for. And let's think if we, let's see here. Let's save this. I'm going to try something. We're going to see how it works. Let's select all this. Connect and connect. And select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And we're going to chamfer these. Okay. 
And let's see what that did for us. You see I'm trying to get those little uh, creases in there. Now let's go in here and simply delete these triangles. And we're gonna go target weld and just weld these sort of together. So basically we're making long little triangles here. Okay. And let's see what that does for us. Alright, and now what we can do is grab our mesh and let's do a cut from that point to this point, okay, on all three of our lines. Okay, and one more. And now we simply need to grab these middle pieces right here. Press W and drag them down a bit. And there we go. Now we kind of have that sort of star shape. And we can um, move them around to our liking. So let's actually extend those a bit. And we'll extend those a bit. There we go. That should work nicely for us. Maybe you can give it three turbo smooths just to smooth it out a bit. All right, excellent. Um, looks good to me there, looks good. So we also have on our edges here, uh, let's do a connect sort of in the middle here. Actually, let's delete that connect. Let's slide it over just a bit. Okay, chamfer this, a little chamfer. Okay, maybe a little smaller than that. A good deal. Uh, control click and then deselect the additional polygons. And let's actually deselect them on the top and sides as well. Deselect and deselect. And I think we want to deselect and deselect. Okay, and we'll extrude this out a little bit. Now let's click on this vertice here and see what we can do to clean it up. Um, all right, let's undo what we did. Extrude, do one really small extrude okay and let's do a little bigger one perfect now let's go in here and just delete all of these polygons and we can go to edge click click and let's see, we sort of want to bridge these. It's not going to let us though. Let's try bridging these. This should work. Bridging those should work. And then let's go to polygon and we'll just create um, some geometry for this last one here. Perfect, there we go. Now if we go to symmetry, well, it sort of works. We'll have to work on it some. Okay, let's do the same on this side. So uh, first we're going to create the geometry we need. Okay, and then we can just click here. Oops, that's strange. Click, click, and bridge. There we go. And now let's um, select this, 
connect and just drag it over this way sort of 90 99 and connect 99 oops there we go and now we have sort of a seam running down uh, that edge well, it seems almost a bit uh, too thick so what we're going to do here is just click on the seam portion okay uh, go into our front viewport here and let's just uh, drag it in a bit okay so now we sort of uh, made the seam a bit less and it looks like we have an additional seam sort of right here-ish okay so let's control click that and this probably goes all the way around I'm guessing I'm just going to chamfer this a very small chamfer okay control click the polygons well, we're just going to try to well it definitely doesn't go in the front so we're not even going to worry about that Okay, so click, and click, click, well, no, we're going to leave that one there. All right, that'll work. Um, we probably need to, let's see, let's see, we can probably actually deselect all of these pieces here. We don't really need any of these from the front. Okay, and you're not going to really ever see the back, so we don't have to worry about those. So really, this is all we have to worry about. Okay, and deselect those three and those two. Okay, and let's do an extrude. Let's see what we need a small extrude and a big extrude. So, first, let's do the small extrude. Okay, and then we'll do the big extrude. Okay, perfect. And now let's us connect the dots. So press Z here, and it's a little hard to see, so we'll just back off one of these faces and then back off that face there. So we can. Um, select these two polygons bridge and select that one in there and that one and bridge and just sort of line them back up if we are to do this okay looks good I think we did not quite bridge them For some reason it seems like it did not work. So we'll delete and we'll do some creative target welding instead. Alright, let's actually undo everything we just did there. Okay, somehow we just got into there he goes. Control X. All right. So that looks not so bad. Though it's still technically wrong. Let's uh, just delete some stuff here, see what's going on. Ah, that's why. Okay, so let's delete all of these here. And target weld. So just weld them up. Uh, we still have some geometry. Ah. Neat. There we go. So target weld. There, 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 there. Over there to there. And one more. Okay, that should be good for that side. Now let's look at this side.
Okay, so grab an edge, bring it back. Okay, bring it back and bring it back. Let's delete all four of these polygons. And now let's target weld everything back to where it should be. It's really annoying sometimes how it does that. Okay, so we got one side done. Let's do this side over here. So just target weld and target weld. And let's just move these back. There we go. So now that should mostly be good. Looks like we need a couple extra lines here, so uh, we'll do a connection, 99, and a connection, 99. That should resolve that problem. Good deal. And we have some interesting little lines over here. Um, let's just... Let's see what we want to do here. Mm. I'm trying to think of how to resolve this little issue. Why does it happen? I guess is the first question. Hmm. We won't be able to really see it, so it's not too much of a big problem, but. This edge is still a problem. Hmm. All right. And so again, this this whole thing is just a you know sort of a exercise in understanding how things work. I'm just trying to get them to do what you need. There we go, much better. Okay. Now that is odd that we have Interesting. So we have quite a bit of geometry here. And it disappeared. Let's save this. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Nothing good. I just think these lines probably should have gone all the way down. So let's um, go to cut here. And there should be some poly or some edges here. I'm just going to cut them all the way down. If it'll let us. So let's um, cut. Okay, then from there, we should be able to go mostly down. And now we can go all the way down. All right, now let's see what we get. Ah, much better, there we go. That was resolving our main problem. And now what I wanna do, oops, don't scale anything, is just grab uh, these middle this middle thing we just made here, and just bring it up a bit, okay? And maybe in just a tad. It was just a bit too low. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good to me. 
Uh, let's go to, well, let's actually do it on the other one. Don't think it makes too much of a difference, but let's see what are, what are we doing here. We are What are we doing? Yeah, we shouldn't be doing anything. All right. So I'm going to say that's probably our couch. Uh, we can quickly do some pillows here. Um, let's see. These look like little boxes. So we'll just do a box sort of like this. Bring it up. And then we will convert it to an editable poly. Control Alt Q, and let's just grab this, connect this twice. Okay, and then we can go here, press connect. All right, and let's press two, three actually. Well, and let's just drag that out. Okay. Uh, let's control click, connect two times, and uh, bring the pinch way out. All right. Select the main center polygons, grow, deselect, extrude. Make sure you're going along the local normal here. And give it a slight extrusion for the seams. All right, go turbo smooth. Two iterations. And next, let's just Go to vertex. Uh, we can click here, connect twice, zero pinch, press R, and we will scale these inward a bit. All right, and let's make this a little bit more rounded. So scale these. Oops, watch out. Press Q a couple more times, or there it is. Just change that to uniform. And round that out, and maybe grab these and round them out, and change that back to a box. All right, and there we go. Now we have some nice little um, couch pillows. You can give it a noise. All right, let's do a little X, a little Y, a little Z, and bring the scale down a bit. Just to give it some sort of a deformation there. And let's. Alright, and let's just position this on the couch. And somewhere over here ish. And looks like we want to scale it up a bit. Okay. Press E. And let's sort of rotate it. Okay, drag it to where it sort of touches back here. And make sure we got it touching in the front and in the back. Perfect, there we go. And we'll just you can see it needs to be a little longer. So lengthen it out a bit. Okay, shift drag it over here. And actually shift drag it. And actually copy is fine. Give it a symmetry like so. Change the seed just so we get a slightly different shape. And let's um, finally uh, actually click this uh, polygon here. And we need to select sort of all these body pol bottom polygons here and just grow them all. And then deselect all those additional ones, extrude. Just give it a slight extrude. So when we do our symmetry modifier, we get a nice uh, bottom here. You don't have to worry about any of that. Like I said, you're never going to see it, so I'm not worried at all. 
All right, and <clears throat> let's see, what do we want to do now? Let's just give it uh, some legs here. So we will sort of just drag some legs out. All right, make them a perfect box. So we'll do 30 by 30 and minus 91 is fine. Uh, let's position them sort of on the edges here, kind of right in the middle. And then drag it down. All right, that should be good. Control Alt Q. Let's just make the feet a bit smaller than the top. All right, select everything, uh, chamfer, and give it just a small chamfer. All right, just like that. Now we can um, end isolation mode here, go to the camera just to see how everything came out and that actually looks quite nice. I'm trying to think, maybe uh, we'll bring these up just a bit. How does that look? Better. Okay, um, so now let's just go to perspective here. And click on that, F3. And then we need to just get this. I know that was pretty close. And we'll just place it on the floor. Okay, and come over and just shift drag it to the other side. Okay, control click. And we'll just shift drag it to the back somewhere over there. All right, now let's just uh, grab everything here and make it gray. And there we go. Now we've got our couch in the scene. Um, so that'll be it for this portion of the tutorial. Um, I will see you guys next time where we will hopefully finish off the last of them. Well, maybe two more times for modeling. But anyway, I will see you guys next time.